Hello YouTube, what's going on? My name's Adam Sullivan, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm a cellist out of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And if you hear any noises, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the dogs calm, but it can be kind of weird. So I think I found something today that I think everybody that uses Minichat and Squarespace are really going to enjoy. So, as you can see, I'm a cellist, and I kind of want to be able to connect with my audience a little bit better. So first, click on Lessons. Now we see here, and I saw a picture of me, lessons, learning musical instruments can be a great way to learn importance, but then, would you like more information? That's right, Minichat, um, their little window for messengers pops up here, so if I can click uh, send to messenger, awesome, and I got Facebook pulled up right here, give it a minute, hello, I hope you're having a great day, just to be clear, you're interested in lessons, isn't that awesome so let me show y'all how to program that and just to prove that i am actually on squarespace here it is same page sullivan cello and then go to pages and lessons and once it loads here we are exact same page so first let's jump on over to um, mini chat and if you've never heard of Minichat, it's a free chat bot. So basically you can set it up. So you're going back to Facebook here. If I type in, in my case, help, H-E-L-P, hit enter. And ignore the little popping up that comes up. But you see it has a little dots here saying I'm typing, and I'm clearly not. And then, awesome. Unfortunately, I'm away doing some kind of awesome child related thing. But can I help you with anything? Click a button. And it'll direct you to where you need to go but it does so much more than that um there's all sorts of stuff like bars um molders uh page takeovers all sorts of embedded widgets you can set up for not only your website but more importantly it can be used in ads and if you just go look at everything you can do it's amazing that's the, and the best word of all is it's free you have a limited number of things you can do with this, but by far, if you just do like me, where I only need one on my lesson, one of my on my events, and probably one on my bio, because my contacts already, as you can see, breaks down Facebook and Twitter, which I need to switch to Instagram. But anyways, um, I really don't need anything more than the free, but I've gone ahead and started paying because I really, really support the service. Anyways. So, once you go into Growth Tools, you'll see these buttons. There's a couple of examples. I went and changed it up, so I have one for lessons, which, ignore the stats, that's just me testing it. Um, and I made one for gigs, because, I, like I said before, I want to put one on my events page. So, first, let's make your information window. You, I'm assuming if you know, and if you were interested in this sort of thing, you'd know how to do this. But go ahead and build it the way you want it. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is. Submit a state. Yep. Uh, opt in message. The opt in message, uh, just in case you're curious, is the um, message path that you want to go to. So currently I've been making sequences in order to direct them. Just in this, for example, the first sequence in this run, select flow. That's good to go. That's how you get the um, hello, whatever your name is. Hope you're having a great day. Just to be clear, you're whatever, or whatever way you want to go about it. And also, too, if you want to set them up as a subscriber, which is a way to steadily keep them in contact with you, you can do that here, too. Now, here seems to be the biggest trick people have been missing, and this took me two days now to figure out. You see you have installed JavaScript. Once you click on it, it pops up. You type in your website that you want this to be attached to, but then you click on install mini chat snippet and right here, place it on the head of every web page of your website. Well, here's the thing with Squarespace, you don't normally have, or at least not directly have access to the head, the way Squarespace, which I'm assuming if you have Squarespace, you're pretty much aware of this, but you don't have direct access to the header of your web page or the part that you track information with, or you set up metadata to help uh, promote your, your channel. 
what in, what you have to do is you have to do a little bit of a workaround. So, anyways, once you've typed in your web domain here, click over here, grab the data by highlighting or just copying, pasting, and head back over to, to Squarespace. Now, so let's scroll down, go into settings, you'll see a general section, a website section, a commerce section. Go under website into advanced. And under advanced, if you scroll down about a little over halfway, there's a thing called code injection. Click on code injection. And wouldn't you know it, it allows you to edit your header and footer directly. As you can see here, there's a metadata thing for Google site verification. This is just something I do in order to help verify my, my site is legit, is well, legitly mine. But right here under it, you can see I have the mini check code from before. Just click on um, the first line there, because you'll see a one. Click beside it, control V to paste, and then save. Now go back into the home, the root menu, the home screen for Squarespace. Uh, make sure it's saved. Now go back to um, mini chat. All right, so once we get back to um, your setup, what you need to do now is A, make sure that the preview looks good on mobile and also on uh, desktop. Then down here at the bottom, you'll see that there is a hide from these pages and then show only on this page. I need to change this to, uh, what did I title it? So go back into Squarespace, whatever page you're wanting to pull this up on. In this case, I want events. There's a little uh, gear right under the plus sign. Settings. There it goes. Okay, so once you click the little gear, you come over under the basic tab of your page. Scroll down, you'll see there's a URL slug. That is the um, slash uh, whatever domain you want to go to that specific page. Just type in that, or if you want to... Um, paste it you can make sure to save and then the biggest another thing that kind of threw me for a loop is if you look right here if there's a draft and active click it so now let me go back to the dashboard for a second and let me reload the events page and after a few seconds of looking around bam I hope you enjoy this video everybody and if you want to see more stuff like this Feel free to comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.